we've got a new toy. Ah! Hey guys, welcome back to another Sort of George Garage with me, Julian. Uh, new toy install. Here we go. Banging. Right, what we got here is uh, obviously a winch. It's a Warrior 45 SPS 12, which basically has a rated line pull of 4,500 pound. Um, and it's a 12 volt, so in other words, it's battery rather than plug into the wall. It's a Ninja. Um, it's one careful owner. Uh, the other two didn't give a shit, but hey, it is what it is. Can't be open. It's second hand, obviously. Third, fourth hand, whatever else. Uh, it's come off the back of a truck somewhere. Um, and what I want it for is um, if I get a project that is a non-runner, then I have something to be able to tow it into the garage with. I wonder if the next project is a runner. So the task for today is we are going to install this on my garage floor. So I've just been checking this over, make sure that everything's okay. Um, there's a few marks on it. I'm not worried about sort of little scuffs and whatever else on this. It does work, I've already checked it out. Um, so it's a quick install video and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Sort of George, but hang in. Right, what we're gonna be using to install these into the concrete some concrete anchors now these are m10s by 100 mil so if i take this one i've taken the sleeve off you're looking at uh, about 100 mil there and what you do is let me just take that and i'll do it i'll use this one basically what you do this one is going to be a 12 millimeter hole okay and what you do, obviously, you drill the hole in the concrete, put it in, and then as you uh, do this nut up, it will pull against this piece here and start to separate. And that is what will grip into the concrete. <clears throat> Excuse me. That is what will grip into the concrete and it won't come out again. So that's what we're going to be doing. Now, base plate, like I say, they are M10s. They go through there nicely. Those are the four holes that I want to use. So here we go. Let's mark it all up and put it in. Right, I've just drawn a couple of marks on the floor. I'm going to be putting it here so that the cable comes off of the spool, obviously this direction. Now I'll show you. The reason why I want it here is if I turn around, place myself, that's gonna be center of the garage. Okay, so when I pull the cars in, whichever ones I get that don't run, then obviously it will come in center, straight down and to there. Rather than having it over here, then when I'm pulling the car in, although the car is going to be coming in at this angle, by the time the car gets up here, the cable is now going to be coming across at this angle to get to the spool. And what you're going to end up doing, basically, is having the cable being loaded up onto the spool all over one side, and you don't want that. You want it to be sort of loading up straight etc so when you put <coughs> excuse me when you put a winch in obviously you want it as center to the garage as possible i.e like that is let's say i turn myself around there you go banging so when that comes in the cable will be coming onto the spool central that's the theory anyway right let's crack on right so we put some markings on the floor take that away there we go now what i've done is I've put the four holes, marked up the four holes, obviously for the plate to be uh, bolted to the concrete floor, but I've also marked up a few, uh, these four, because what that is for is 
this is where the bolts are going to sit that go through this base plate and bolt to the bottom of the winch. So obviously, you know, bolt the winch to the bottom of the base plate. So because this now protrudes below the actual base plate, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drill uh, a little bit of the concrete out just so that these bolts can sit below the line of the concrete so that the rest of the plate can actually sit flush to the floor otherwise basically the plate is going to be sat on the floor on top of these four bolt holes and i'd rather have the whole plate uh, flush to the floor uh, just for it's a bit more secure then isn't it rather than just sat on them four bolts that's what's for so right here we go let's crack on Right, so what I want to do now is I want to make sure that I get the centre of the hole, 99.9% .9 of the hole, just so that my drill bit will sit in the centre of that hole for when I drill down, drill down, drown. So when I drill down, I know that I'm going to be in the centre of them holes where I've marked so it should obviously line up with these four holes correctly hopefully right that's all four marked so I'm going to start off with uh, like a five six mil drill bit and then obviously I can go down with it so like an eight mil and then finish off with a ten mil here we go Okay, as you can see, I've gone down to uh, this where I've put my tape. If I go and get one of these, you can see what I've done is I've marked it up like so. And they recommend that you have just that little bit more of a depth to it than what this is going to be. Bearing in mind, <coughs> excuse me, it's only going to go, if I, you know, if I tighten that up a bit better. There you go, how about that? There you go. So now what you want to do, if you're lucky enough to have an airline, you want to make sure that this hole is free of debris. So excuse the hoover. So that now should be completely free of dirt. That's lovely. Right. Put my torch back over there. That should fit nicely down in there, which it will. Now what you want to do is get one of these and beat the living now what you want to do is get a hammer if you bring the nut up flush with the top of that and just gently tap it in it should go all the way down and the reason why you have that flush is so that you don't damage the threads There you go like that now what you can do is get your ratchet and just start to that should start to bring that center up like so so that the bottom end can grip against that outer that outer shaft, sorry, can grip against the concrete. So that should do it for now. I don't want to dig too far into the concrete. Right, I'm going to take that out. Get rid of that. There 
and now you can see what it's like in the hole. Now what I did notice that I had actually gone over at a bit of an angle. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to put that on there. Obviously tighten that down so that that is in place. Bring that up to me lines. There you go. One, one. Like so. So that now won't move. Now what I can do is drill down through these holes so that I know I'm going to be in the right place. I was right with that one. I was off a bit. So that's how I'm going to do that. Right, seven mil. Let's try this one. Just to try and get centre. See how we're doing. It then fills up with dust and you can't see what you're doing. And this was the one that was at the awkward angle. Right. Here we go. Right. That's two done. Start off with this one. That one needs to go over a bit as well. I'm starting off with a seven. Then I'm going up to a 10, then I'm going up to a 12. Later that same evening. Right, there you go, there we have it. And that is a nice, he says, that is a nice tight fit. No, not that tight fit. I mean, as in, it fits nice and snug. Right, so what I've got to do now, is just drill out a couple of these just like I say so that the bolt head can sit lower than the concrete floor so that this plate can sit nice and flush right here we go there you go that's better one two three four lovely here we go that will go through there I want to get a bigger drill bit. There you go. As long as I sit below the surface, that should be fine. That'll be fine. Sorted George, right, let's install it, here we go. Right, what I've done, I've just taken uh, these nuts off, bolts out, and I've just greased them up so that these roll nice and easy as you do. And that one, sorted George. Now, you wanna put, if you get a brand new one and you are putting this together for the first time, you wanna put this on the front first because when you've got this winch sat across here, you don't have much room to get behind to get the bolt in there. So these were the bolts that we had. Cool, cack handed with the camera in the way. That's it, so with George, that's on there, lovely. Now, let's put the winch on. Right, putting this together, all back together. That has got to slide through there, okay, first. So that's coming out of there, from, so that it comes around to the bot from the bottom. That will go across there. Now these, uh, bolts when they go through and they screw into here 
what you do is you slide your nut in to the gap and line it up just like that so they slide in and they line up so you only need one spanner because this will hold that nut because of the shape of it right let's put you on like so you chuck them all over the place you can go in there right let's do these up and i'll come back with you right let's put this on the plate squeeze it over make sure she sits on nicely and she's in she is in she is on and i think the uh when i do the nuts up on these bolts that will drag this plate hard, hard against the floor and put these uh the bolts that are holding this on they'll obviously get dragged into the floor so right sort it george gonna have to do it up with a spanner rather than a socket but never mind okay there's always one that don't want to be a friend but you'll find that with this model sir that's pulling down to the floor nicely okie dokie there it is job jobbed right that's in on this particular one that is the clutch so if you twist that round you can now just pull that straight off of the spindle like so and then turn that back around oh sorry make sure she's locked in which she is hang on there you go now what i've got is room in the back here to put a, a car battery they go on just with these crocodile clips here job jobbed and that is in and hopefully you should be able to see there that uh, if I can turn my torch on there you go oh. right and hopefully you should be able to see that that is now sat flush against the floor so right there you go so the base plate is nice and flush onto the floor so now that's it's not going to put any excess stress on them concrete anchors because if there was a gap like that then mm, i don't like that so right all we've got to do now is test it for that we're going to wait till tomorrow because it's pitch black out there now so right see you in a bit one week later yeah a week later um I thought I had a strap here, uh, can't find it. So it's obviously got lost in the move because I haven't used it since we've been here. Uh, so what I've done, I've gone and bought myself one of these. It is a brother strap, what they call a brother strap. Uh, basically you um, hook it onto the winch and then you've got two straps coming down either side. Uh, and basically if I come down and show you, so it'll be hooked on here and then it'll be going out to both sides of the axle or the front sway bar, whatever it is that you'll pull in again, or putting on, uh, and then it comes out into the middle. Um, it, I got it from uh, aaronsdale.com. Uh, this is it. It's a good little product, actually. It's only about 30 quid. And basically, you take the strap around and you can hook it onto either this one or this one. So I prefer I prefer one of those straps rather than the chain because I think a chain, uh, yeah, if it moves, then uh, you can cause a bit of damage or you know like tear up a, a brake line or something like that. These are sleeved. I'll open the packet in a minute, but uh, I don't know if you can see that there. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's open up the packet. There you go, that's better. So you can see that the actual. Uh, strap 
is sleeved by this. So basically, if there was any slight movement, it's let's say you've got this wrapped around the back axle, and obviously you know you're, you're near a brake line or whatever. If something was to move on the axle, then obviously it would be like the inner sleeve, the outer sleeve is going to stay still. I mean, I'm only talking obviously slight movement, but it's a bit more protection. Yeah, it's a nice strap this is. So yeah, basically that comes around, hooks onto there. So there's your loop, or you can come up to that one, and then obviously you've got a bigger, bigger, excuse me, you've got a bigger area to attach the strap to. Right, what I should do now is take the car outside, put the strap on, and let's pull her back in, see what she's like. Here we go. Right, we've got her all set up. As you can see, uh, there is a little bit of a slope going on just outside the garage. But one of the things that you want to do as well when you're towing in a vehicle like this is to put something like a carpet, a mat, rug, whatever, put that over the line because if the uh, if your line lets go, then basically this is obviously going to be under a lot of tension. And if that lets go, that's going to come back, you know, real quick. So the idea is, is to put some sort of a mat, rubber mat, carpet, whatever, over uh, your tow line so that if it does let go, the weight of that will bring your line like down to the floor. It's less dangerous. That's the idea. Right, let's, uh, let's bring her in. Job, job. Right, and there she is in. That's that sorted. Um, right, conclusion. I'll tell you what, let's have a look at these straps first. Uh, I've cleaned them up, just wiped all the dirt off. You can see a few sort of marks, etc., on the uh, outer sheath, but that's the whole idea of this, so that you don't end up damaging uh, the actual uh, strap itself. Um, yeah, that's a good little strap there. That's good. Uh, right, conclusion with the winch. Um, right, it's a 4,500 pound, which is just over two tonnes. This old girl here is two tonne, literally a fraction under, like 1.985, call it two tonnes, right? And she's pulled that in fine, not a problem. I'm happy with that. Uh, the winch done the job. Uh, strong enough, the battery that I used wasn't strong enough. Um, advice, if you're going to get one for the garage floor, if I had the money, I would go for a, um, like a 240 volt as in plug into the wall. Um, but I didn't have the money, so obviously I went for one that was used to be on the back of a, uh, a tow truck. Uh, so that's 12 volt. Uh, so if you're in that situation, I would say get yourself a decent battery uh, because she pulled in really slow. Um, regardless of the speed, it done the work, it done the job, and that's the whole idea. So yes, I'm happy with that. Little Ninja Warrior, like I say, this one is a 45 SPS 12. Um, yeah, I'm impressed with it. I, I, I am. Like I say, if you want, uh, I won't say downside, but you want to make sure you've got enough power. So either get yourself a decent battery or one of them booster, jump booster pack things like, you know, have one of them ready. Because obviously at the end of the day, when that is on the back of a truck, you're going to leave your engine running. So the battery is going to be constantly charged via the alternator. Well, obviously it's sat there. It's not being charged. It's on charge now. But you know what I mean? It's just going to drain the battery. So I did have to stop a couple of times just to give that battery uh, a bit of a boost, a bit of a charge. Um, but she made it. 
Um, it is an old battery. What's the power on this one? It is a. Oh yeah, have a look yourself. There you go. There you are. So it's not the strongest of batteries. It's not the biggest of batteries. Um, it done the job, you know, slightly but surely, but it done the job. Um, yeah, I'm glad I got it. I'm not going to be using it like three times a month or anything like that, you know what I mean? So, but what I need it for, that is ideal. Um, right, well, thanks ever so much for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. Uh, like, share, hit the subscribe button if you wouldn't mind. It will help this channel grow. Uh, and I'll see you on the next one. It's Sort of George Garage. Bag it.